Hello everyone, I'm making this video to explain how to get all the endings in the last expansion of The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. There are four endings. Based on the three main characters, the Duchess, her sister and Detlaf, these three can live or die in four different combinations, hence the four endings. Now I'm going to start from the worst ending to the best ending, and while the worst ending is probably objectively the worst, just because everyone dies and the duchy is left in a questionable state, to the best ending, now the best may not actually be the best, but it's truly the most difficult to get. So that's why I'm calling it the best. Okay, so the worst ending, what do we have to do? Well, the only thing you have to do is instead of going to free Sienna from the fairy tale world, you go and meet the vampire elder, the unseen. Summon that love that way and you're guaranteed to get the worst ending. That's it. It's the easiest one to get. There is actually one more way to get it, but I'll get to that later. Now to get the second and the third ending. For these you have to instead choose to free Sienna. In there you will meet the little flint vendor who has Sienna's old ribbon. There you'll have to make a choice whether to buy the ribbon or not. To get the second and third ending you should not buy the ribbon. Okay, so don't buy it. Continue without it. If you don't buy it, you'll meet up with Detlaf and he will kill Sienna. So in the second and third ending, Sienna dies. Now the difference is that you get to choose whether to kill Detlaf or to spare him. So in, let's call it ending number two, Sienna dies, Detlaf dies, Geralt gets imprisoned and then Dandelion comes to save you. In ending number three, Sienna dies, Detlaf lives, and by the way, that also allows Rages to stay into song. And Geralt once again gets imprisoned. In fact, the difference in the imprisonment part is that if you let Detlaf live, you don't get paid at all. But Dandelion comes to save you in both ways, and that's, that's basically ending number two and three. They're very similar. The difference is that in one of them, Detlaf can survive. And ending number four, the best, the hardest to get, you have to go and free Sienna, but before you go into the fairy tale land, there is a diary in her room, and this diary has entries. You have to read all the entries. I believe you are allowed to close the diary after you read half of them, but make sure to read all of them before going in. And you have to buy the ribbon. Now when you buy the ribbon, that ensures that she survives, Detlaf cannot kill her, and you have to kill Detlaf always. So you kill Detlaf and you end up in that dressing room in the castle. And now from here on, you have to go and investigate who the fifth victim was about to be. Now, you can investigate that thing in all of the endings. Before the ending of the game, you can always do that investigation and figure out that Sienna wanted to kill her sister. However, only for the best ending does that actually matter. Can that actually change something significant? So you go there, you investigate, you find out, and you have to meet Sienna, you have to confront her, during that confrontation, you have to pick the right choices. Now, I've linked a video in the description where you can check the choices I picked. These are the right ones. You basically have to be understanding of her and of her feeling rejected by her family and by her sister and ask her to forgive them. After that meeting, you go to Damien and then the Duchess and you have the whole ceremony where you're being uh, awarded and then the Duchess and Sienna meet. In the worst ending, Sienna kills the Duchess and the guards kill Sienna. However, in this ending, if again you pick the correct choices, they are in the same video that I mentioned before, in the description, you can appeal to their senses, tell them that they were just children, they were powerless to, to change the whole situation, and they can make up. They forgive each other, they hug, and both of them survive. Alright, so these were the endings. I have summarized them in the description as well, so you can check them there. And if you're curious about the people who come to visit you after the ending, they can be Triss, Yennefer or Siri. Triss if you romanced Triss, Yennefer if you romanced Yennefer, and Siri if you did not romance anybody. Now, I was actually looking forward to Shani. I thought if you perhaps romanced her, she will come instead of Siri, but it doesn't seem to happen. So that was it. That's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and until next one, stay tuned and be good. So, what becomes of us? See anything else in the reflection? Mm-hmm. Zoltan moves in. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> wearing mummer's costumes, took to calling them Christian, referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. 